Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and today we're talking about value investing and I have a few questions. Number one, what is value investing? Number two, what is considered a value stock? And number three, is now even the right time in the market to use the strategy value investing? I will answer all three questions and more in this video. So make sure you stay tuned till the end to catch all of the information. Oh, and by the way, this is a chapter video. So you can skip around to the different sections of this video that you find more informative and useful. Say, for example, you want to learn more about is now the right time to use the strategy value investing and you already know what value investing is. Go to the video description, scroll down to you see timestamps and you can click on the chapter that interests you most. I hope you like it. And one more thing, before we dive into the details that you came here to see, you can help out the channel and earn free money while doing it. First, earn $10 worth of Bitcoin by signing up for a BlockFi interest account and depositing $100. Plus, the added benefit to using BlockFi is that you will earn interest of up to 8.6% annually on your cryptocurrency. Second, earn two free stocks worth up to $1,850 by signing up to Webull and depositing $100. Click the links below to get started. Now, back to the video. Value investing is a surefire way to build your wealth over time. And here's exactly how to do it. The term value investing was first coined by Benjamin Graham, a Wall Street financier, professor of economics, and is widely known as the father of value investing. He played a significant role in shaping Warren Buffett's career and investment philosophy. So what is value investing? Value investing is the theory that stocks can be bought at a bargain price below their intrinsic value in anticipation that they will rise to the stock's true worth over time. It is different from other forms of investing in that it does not involve buying or selling stocks based on the forecasted improvements of industry cash flows. For most investors today, this means looking for companies with low ratios relative to the stock's book value of assets. A company that has a low ratio is likely to be perceived as undervalued if it meets certain other standards. Here's a chart to illustrate value investing. So on the left axis, we have share price slash intrinsic value. Along the bottom axis, we have time represented in years. So the different colored lines are labeled the blue line that gradually goes up over time is intrinsic value. The green line that slightly goes up over time, not as fast as intrinsic value, is purchase price. And the red line that's moving up and down and up and down over time is market price. So your buying opportunities along this scale will be along the green line, the purchase price, when the red line, the market price of the stock falls to a certain level. That's when you would buy. And it's very similar to dollar cost averaging except you're paying attention to a stock's chart and when a stock's price dips down to a certain level, say your support level, then that's when you would make your purchase. 
unlike dollar cost averaging, where you just put a little money in every month and you're buying the stock no matter what the price is. So over time, you're purchasing your stock at its lowest point on the chart. And there's a few chart indicators that you will use to your advantage to know when to purchase the stock when it's on its downtrend. And we'll go over that in just a moment. How to know when a stock is undervalued. The degree to which a stock is undervalued depends on the particular value an investor places on a company. Some may feel that a company trading at a low price to book value is undervalued. Others may say that it must have low price to earnings and low price to cash flow ratios to be undervalued. One way to cite an undervalued stock is when a stock has rallied for a few days to a few weeks and is in a defined uptrend. Then the stock has a 10% or maybe even 20% pullback or more. The stock should be considered undervalued. Another way is to watch the relative strength index or RSI for it to weaken or bottom out. This could be a second signal to use with price action. I'll show you on a chart in just a moment what this looks like. However, one could always buy a little on every red day when a stock is down to dollar cost average your way into a stock building your position size over time. This is the one hour chart for Pepsi. To show you an example of what technical indicators you would use to find a value stock. And right here, I want you to pay attention to this blue line going down across your screen. This is a trend line. And since it is moving in the downward direction, this is a defined downtrend. Now, the smaller blue line that you see here that goes along with the candlesticks, that's the simple moving average. It just helps to smooth out the chart as the candlesticks are formed. So what we have is number one, price action is in a defined downtrend. The second chart indicator that we want to look at is the RSI or Relative Strength Index. It's in this purple box right here, the one that's on the top that has these two blue lines in them here. So the Relative Strength Index just gives you a oversold, overbought look at a stock. Now, when the line is going up towards the top and it gets up here into the 60 point range and it goes above this line, maybe up into the 70 point range, that means the stock is overbought. So the price is usually going to be on the higher side when the relative strength index is up. That is not a time to buy. That would be a time to sell if you were doing, say, momentum investing or short term investing. But for value investing, we want to find these peaks and then we want to see a defined downtrend. Number one, a defined downtrend in price, as we have right here. Number two, we want to be able to see a defined downtrend in the relative strength index. And when this line pops out of the bottom of this purple box down here, then we know the stock has been oversold. 
so it's relatively cheap. This is when we want to buy a stock. Now, if we notice on the downtrend of a stock, this downtrend is much longer than the downtrends of the relative strength index. Because we've got these two blue lines in the relative strength index, only a much longer line on the price action. So it is possible for the RSI to bottom out, for it to go back up and then bottom out a second time or maybe a third time for a stock to still be in a downtrend. So that's when something else comes in handy, a third indicator. And this will tie everything together on the chart. Now we have another blue line up here on the price action side of the chart. Now, this blue line running straight across here, what this is, is our support line. So if you go back and you look at a stock's history, you may notice that when a stock reaches a low point on the chart, you'll find that that low point on a value stock in particular can line up with past events and where a stock may be headed. And if you see here, right here, the Pepsi stock came down to this line it bounced off of this line and went back up. It did the same thing over here and a little further back right here. There's one time here where it dipped below it. And in our example that we're using, it has also dipped below that line. So, Using all of this together to determine when should we buy this stock to hold it for the long term. Number one, we want it to be in a defined downtrend. Number two, we want the relative strength index to also be in a downtrend. What we need to watch is for when does the stock get down to this line, okay? this support line and to help us out we can actually set a stock alert so say for example this line is set at right at 129 dollars okay so what we could do is set a stock alert for 130 dollars and when that alert goes off we know it's time to hop into the chart put our trend line on see what's happening because the price has now fallen into our range. It's fallen to close to support. So we need to determine is relative strength index showing signs of weakness? Is there a downtrend? And now we know that it has met our initial price alert point for us to look at the chart. Another item that we can use is also volume. It's the little red and green sticks that run across the bottom. If you notice during the, the downtrend, okay, the volume is low. But as soon as we get to this bottom, this support level, the volume increases substantially. That's because you're not the only investor watching this $130 price level for this stock. Many investors using value investing strategy are also waiting for the stock to hit this level. And when it does, they step in and buy, just like you should. So when you see volume spiking after volume has been low, when you see that it's in a defined downtrend and it has reached your price target, you see relative strength index is also showing signs of weakness. You know now is the time to step in and buy your 
value stuff. I hope this part of the video was extremely helpful and valuable for you. Smash the like button and click subscribe to let us know we are doing a good job. Safest method of investing. For conservative investors, this is the safest method of investment. Because value investing focuses so much on financial statements, this investment strategy appeals to many people who are comfortable with numbers and who are able to analyze businesses on their own. So as long as you either understand those stock indicators and also looking at financial statements, or you want to learn how to read stock indicators or a financial statement, then this is an investment strategy for you because it's one of the safest ways to invest. Now, the value investing approach to portfolio management is heavily influenced by the ideas and work by Benjamin Graham. In his book, the intelligent investor and we'll link that down below if you want to pick up a copy of this book it's a really informative read but in his book graham outlines several key ideas that are important to the value investing philosophy these are number one invest only in stocks where you have a margin of safety. Graham's concept of intrinsic value is one way of measuring this margin of safety. Graham teaches that stocks are often priced much lower than their actual value. When this is the case, buying the stock at a bargain price provides an investor with a margin of safety. Number two, investors frequently make mistakes in valuing a company. They may be overly optimistic or pessimistic or not know how to value a company well enough. An investor who can identify possible mistakes early on can often benefit from buying a stock at an undervalued price. Number three, investing is not a one-time event. To succeed in investing, an investor must develop and apply proven methods and techniques over time. It is important to set goals for success and measure progress along the way. Buy and hold stocks for the long term. In addition to these three principles, Graham taught that a value investor must be able to set aside speculative matters to focus on what is truly important. Value investing is often called a buy and hold strategy, and that's exactly what it is. An investor should hold on to stocks for long periods of time and not allow stock market news to affect his or her investment decisions. Graham believed that the advantage of value investing was that it allowed investors to do well over time, even if they could not beat the market from year to year. Remember Buffett's famous quote. Time in the market beats timing the market. So who should consider value investing? If you are looking for a conservative strategy to grow your money and your wealth, value investing could be an excellent solution that will meet your long-term objectives. While it requires the ability to read and understand financial statements, 
it has been used by successful investors like Warren Buffett, who has become one of the richest men in the world. To answer the question, is now the time to use value investing? I found this very interesting article titled, Investors Brace for Major Shift as Momentum and Value Collide. In this article, they discuss how there is something unique happening in the stock markets today. How momentum investing and value investing are colliding and merging together for a once in a lifetime event. So now is the perfect time to use value investing and also sprinkle in a little bit of momentum investing. In a couple of days, we're going to upload another video about momentum investing, diving into what that is and how you can use it. Because momentum investing has been winning for decades. And value investing has been left behind. As they say in the article, for much of the past decades, so-called momentum stocks have been on fire. For much of the past decade, so-called momentum stocks have been on fire, layering gains upon gains. Meanwhile, unloved value stocks have limped behind, frustrating a generation of fund managers who made their reputation eking out equity market bargains. Since November's coronavirus vaccine breakthrough, however, Value stocks have benefited from their high sensitivity to economic cycles. Now, they are climbing fast and consistently enough to start classifying as momentum stocks. It is an uncommon union of two normally conflicting market factors that could send billions of dollars that typically chase trends towards once shunned value shares. That's a pretty bold statement for the market climates and conditions we're facing right now. You can find value stocks who may start to trace and look like momentum stocks. What a great time to be investing in the stock market. Here's a list of value stocks that you can add to your watch list. Now, this list will be in the video description all the way towards the bottom where you can find the company name and ticker symbol. So starting off, Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, Outer Group, MO, Allstate Corp, ALL, Ford Motor Company, F, Bristol Myers Squibb, B M Y, Morgan Stanley, M S, Athlac, A F L, Anthem, A N T M, A T N T, T, Bank of America, B A C, Biogen, B I I B, Cigna. C I PepsiCo P E P Cummins C M I Duke Energy D U K DuPont D D General Mills G I S Gillette Sciences G I L D Intel INTC, Johnson and Johnson, JNJ, Kimberly Clark, KMB, Lockheed Martin, LMT, Northrop Grumman, NOC, Raytheon Technologies, RTX, 
Sherwin Williams, S H W, Kraft Heinz, K H C, UPS, UPS, Walmart, W M T. Take as many of these companies as you would like, add them to your own watch list for value investing, for using that strategy specifically on these companies. And a few of them, I have noticed, have already started to make that blend between value investing and momentum investing. Take a Walmart, for example, Johnson and Johnson. Because those were winners during 2020, they've moved more towards a momentum stock than a value stock. But both of those investing strategies are merging together to create something new that happens once in a lifetime. So watch for our video on momentum investing. It'll be coming out soon. You know, there's really only three ways to build true wealth. You either own a business, you either own real estate, or you own stocks. And owning stocks can be just like owning a business or owning real estate. Those are the three true ways to actually build generational wealth. I hope you found a ton of value in this video. Remember, this is a chapter video. Look in the video description for timestamps and you can go back and watch the sections that you want to learn more about. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, click subscribe and join our family of investors. We're here to help each other. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You can help out the channel and earn free money while doing it. First, earn $10 worth of Bitcoin by signing up for a BlockFi interest account and depositing $100. Plus, the added benefit to using BlockFi is that you will earn interest of up to 8.6% annually on your cryptocurrency. Second, earn two free stocks worth up to $1,850 by signing up to Webull and depositing $100. Click the links below to get started.